What's going on folks? It is May 17th, Friday, and we're in the village of Erfingen um, at the Ferien Dorf called Zonenmatte. And what it is, is um, it's like a little vacation village, a little vacation spot. Um, kind of just like a campground pretty much, um, but instead there's little housing units, little little homes and uh they're pretty cool um they come fully equipped with you know dishes and um, pillows and blankets and a couple other things you just kind of bring your own sheets and food and everything they got a fridge there and uh pots and pans and stuff so it's pretty cool um so what brings us here today is um ezra's kindergarten they're doing this trip um i think they do this trip like every year in May and uh, it was really cool that we were able to to be a part of this and um, they were able to kind of squeeze us into uh, the trip they had a couple extra slots open um, so yeah it's great it's a great experience let's get a shot of the uh, surrounding area but there's like a big playground um, there's a ton of you know, cool things for the kids to do. And I'm telling you, we are in rural South Germany, right in the Schwarz, in the Schwarz, in, <clears throat> im Schwarzwald. <laughs> but yes, in the Black Forest, uh, to say that both in English and in German. Some things, <laughs> to be honest, I, uh, you know, you start learning a language and then as you're talking about it in English, you tend to describe it in German or you say the German name or use a preposition or a verb or something. But, uh, you know, learning German, um, it's, um, it's, quite, it's quite an experience. And um, sometimes you almost forget the English word for certain things. You just know the German word because you use it so often. Um, I kind of find myself doing that and some people even told me that that would happen but um, yeah so aside from the from the introduction that we just did here um, I'm now about whew, two months away from finals um, yeah exactly about two months away so we're already more than halfway through the semester and um, it is going well but also at the same time it's pretty challenging um, my classes man they're they're pretty rough I'm putting in a lot of time um, sometimes you know you just don't make as much progress as you'd like that's kind of how I feel because the language uh, border um, and uh, you know I'm always constantly translating notes I'm always talking with my tutor, getting some extra um, advice, um, getting some extra insight into the, the course material. And, um, you know, it's really difficult for me this time around to like solve the exercises right up front. Most of the time, it's like I'll attempt them and then I'll get stuck. And then we'll talk about it and then I'll get through them, which is cool. But not knowing a lot of the theory up front because of the language uh, boundary and not getting that information until a little bit later after the lectures um it's kind of it's just i'm having to learn um a whole different way but um you know all in all it's not bad and it's a part of the experience so um it's almost like it's raising my threshold for difficult courses to take um, it's gonna be funny when I go back to Chico State I'm gonna start thinking like wow I don't even have to translate all my notes <laughs> I don't even have to spend like an extra two hours just you know rereading all of the lecture notes I'll just get everything up front all at once in the classroom so it's definitely raising that that pain threshold um, overall it's a great experience and you know uh, I'm loving it and uh, I'm really appreciating the time here, the time we have left, which is unfortunately not much longer after uh, finals are done. Um, 
lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's kind of an overload, but you know, every time, every, I try to remember, you know, often to just take a second and really enjoy stuff like this and to really just take it in because this whole year has gone by so freaking fast. It's, it's insane. Um, you know, it's good, of course, for me to, to keep up with my studies and to really, you know, I really want to do well. Um, but of course, I also have to take a moment to realize that, uh, you know, we made it here. And um, it's just been such, such a privilege to be able to come out here and to do this one year um, in, in Germany. And uh, all of the people that have helped me along the way and all of the resources that have been available to me. Scholarships, grants, help, advice, um, people helping us out getting apartments, um, helping us out registering with the city, getting our visas, every single thing is, uh, man, it was just so much work that went into all of it, you know? Coordinating with work, coordinating with school, coordinating with my apartment complex. Um, it's It's been insane. And, and actually, as a matter of fact, uh, on another quick note, um, I found out just last week two really awesome uh, things. One, that I will be getting um, an apartment in Chico on August 1st, which is like perfect, because that's when we're coming back. Although we're probably going to stay a week in Ventura, a week or two maybe, with my folks. Um, just to visit, um, let the kids uh, see the grandparents, um, you know, maybe get some freaking Mexican food, hit the beach, you know, um, you know, do some Ventura stuff for a little while before we uh, return to Chico where it's like 200 degrees. Um, but um, so we got the apartment and I'm going back to Trader Joe's. I got confirmation on that. Um, which is amazing and uh, nothing's ever guaranteed but I had a feeling that you know I, I would be able to get back in there and I decided to take that leap of faith and um, again so grateful to everybody who's helped me out that I will be able to return to my job um, and uh, I'm just very thankful for that because if something would have happened and, and I wouldn't be able to return to Trader Joe's for some reason I don't know what the hell I would do so again, uh, it wasn't just me or it wasn't just, you know, only one person. It really took a whole village to come together to make this experience happen. And, um, you know, really just cannot say how thankful I am. I cannot express that enough. So that's the update. School's going well. Classes are kicking my ass, but I'm loving it. Um, we're at this lovely area um, in baden württemberg enjoying some time, get, really getting to know the other parents in the kindergarten. And, um, you know, right now we're going to go like on an evening hike. It's about 8 o'clock in the evening right now. Um, and then after the evening hike, uh, we're all going to get the kids down. And then um, us parents are going to get together and do a little bonfire and have a couple beers. So. It'll definitely, um, it'll definitely be a great time. So, till next time, juice.